What's going on guys? Uh, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. You know the deal. All right. Um, so I'm going to be going over and how I determine the drawn liquidity. And this is a big, big topic, right? And right now I'm actually going to show you a live example. I think the drawn liquidity is this high and then maybe this high. Okay. The reason why I say maybe is because I want to see nice momentum over this high first. Okay. Anyways. All right. So we'll see if this ends up working out. Okay. But I'm going to explain why if it ends up if it ends up working out, I'll explain why in like another video. Okay, but basically what I look for on the draw on liquidity is kind of a momentum candle off a higher time frame PD array. Okay, so what does that mean? That means I'm looking for higher time PD arrays, okay, such as such as like this one, right? This is a higher time frame PD array, right? This can right here. Would you agree? Yes, probably, hopefully. Okay, this is also higher time frame PD array. So we actually wicked into this one but we didn't really have any candle closes below this one. So this is, I consider this a higher time, fee, higher time frame PD array, okay? And what I look for is I look for momentum off that array. So I see here, we, we touch discount, right? And we have nice momentum off of this higher time frame PD array, okay? And if you think about before we learned ICT, right? Before a lot of us learned ICT, we, when we saw momentum candles, we knew price would go up, but we didn't ever know how far price would go up. Okay, we just kind of like guess, like, oh, price is going to go here, and and we didn't really know where price is going to stop. So if we take that logic and see, okay, we have a higher time frame momentum candle off a higher time frame PD array, the next draw on liquidity should always be the next higher low. So right now, okay, I see what I see. I see very, very nice, strong institutional candle off a higher time frame PD array. So now the the next draw on liquidity should be this high, right? And if we look at the one hour, okay? Same thing with this. We have high, very, very strong momentum, very, very strong momentum, okay? And then this should end up being, uh, I'm hoping a strong momentum candle to this high to prove my point. Okay, but I really like looking for the momentum off these higher time P PD rays, okay? What do you notice right here? If you look at this, if you look at this for value gap projection, right? There's not really any high momentum red candles here, right? There's only like little tiny small momentum red candles here. There's not really any too high of momentum candles here. So in this situation here, I wouldn't really be too confident we're going back to the sell side. But then what do you see here? High momentum red candle just totally runs through this order block. Okay, as soon as you see something like this, you're like, okay, this is a lot of momentum. Where should price ideally rally to now? We should rally to the next low because you see a lot of momentum. And a, a difference between like a high momentum and, and, and low momentum candles, like this candle here is a is a high momentum candle, a candle with like small wick, something like this. This is like day one of learning, right? Okay, and then something like this, this is just gonna be a low momentum candle. Okay, but candles like this, we know are institutional candles. So once you see an institutional candle like that, you should express you should expect price to follow that candle. So like this candle, okay, a retail trader, we're we're not making a candle like this. This is big money. Okay, this tells me big money got in, okay, and in order for big money to get back out, we should probably hit this high because this is a liquidity pool, and then this high, this is another liquidity pool. Okay, and there's also an unbalanced four hour fair value or uh, fair value gap up here as well, okay, which is maybe like another reason. Um, because this is unbalanced, then I'll target this high to possibly rebalance this for a value gap up here, right? So if we take a look at some examples in the past, right? If I just scroll over a little bit, um, I always look for high momentum candles off a of higher time frame PD arrays. Okay, so like right here, we have a inverse fair value gap, right? Okay, on the way down here, we have some fair value gaps right here, right? We have this fair value gap which is technically a higher time frame PD array. Okay, what do you notice? Momentum candle and then this momentum candle and then we just, just totally rally through this for a value gap. So at this point, my guess would be the draws here. But do we ever hit it? No, we do not. Okay, we get close but we never hit it. But we still hit the internal high. So I consider this not a fail because we still hit the internal high but we never hit this one which is important to take into account. Okay, when we go back down here, okay, we see another momentum candle right here. But is this momentum candle off a higher time premium PD array? No, it is not, okay? There's no fair value gap, there's no order block, okay? This is just off in the middle of nowhere, okay? What I look for is a higher time, what is, a, is a higher 
High probability candle off a of PD array, okay? Is this a PD array? Yes, this is. This is inverse one hour Fairy value gap. Do we see one, two, three very, very nice momentum candles off this? Yes, we do. If we went to a higher time frame, would this all be combined to be one momentum giant candle here? Yes, it would, okay? And as soon as I see something like this, I'm like, okay, the draw should be the next high, which would be like this, okay? And then what happened? What do I do at this high? At this high, I look for, okay, how much displacement are we breaking over this high with? If it's a lot, like these two candles here, okay, these are high probability momentum candles. I'm, I'm like, okay, we should hit this one. Same thing with this. See how much displacement we break over this high with? As soon as I see that, I'm like, okay, as long as this candle holds, this strong institutional candle, this should be the high next. Okay, and you can kind of see when you look at the momentum off the candles, off these PD arrays, right? You should see the highs drawn to. If we have random momentum candles off of like out of random spots in nowhere, ideally that's usually not the case. Like, I would say, let me see, see like this example, like this example right here. Okay, high momentum candle down, but we're not really rejecting any. I think as you consider this a rejection block, we're not really rejecting too much here. So um, because of this high momentum candle down, again, we're not really rejecting a fair value gap over here or anything, so I wouldn't really be confident. I'm only confident on where the draw on liquidity is once we ex like once we respect the higher time PD array and get a momentum candle off it. Okay, right here, you get a very, very high momentum candle, very, very high momentum candle. And we end up getting to this, this rejection block and rejecting it, but we never really bounce off of any higher time frame PD array here. But here you could argue that we rejected this higher time frame order block, right? And we get, boom, immediately a, a very, very sharp drop. And even if you missed this in hindsight, okay, like even if you did not catch this, and, and if you did not catch this entry, you still know where the draw on liquidity should be. So if we go to replay mode and go like right here, let's say you still have not shorted, but you see, okay, there's a high momentum candle here. You still can take a, a very good high probability guess that the momentum should bring us down to this low. Okay, so again, I look for a higher time frame PD array, array direction or rejection or bounce, right? And I look for the next higher low that the high momentum candle should be aiming for. Okay, and in this case, it was this low right here. Okay, so that's kind of what I look for. Um, it can also work if we do hit some sort of sell side as well. Okay, it's just not as confident okay right right here okay we bounce off this higher time frame pd rate there's not really any nice momentum candles here do you see any nice giant green candles here not really so here i it wasn't really that bullish yet because there's not really any nice momentum institutional candles here okay but like right here we get a sharp drop okay we hit internal sell side and the reason why i say this could still be a possibility of this working is because we do hit internal here but that here's where i really Think the draw on liquidity is up. It's when we break through this for a value gap with momentum and we retest that and then we get another momentum candle out of it. Now that we have this high probability momentum candle, your draw should theoretically be the next high, okay? And then eventually, again, what I say to look for is how much displacement do we go through this high with? And you can see we don't really go with too much displacement, then, but then what do you see? Another high probability momentum candle going through this high, so which means the draw on liquidity should be this next high, okay? And, and if you don't know the bias at this point, this candle would confirm, okay, we should hit this high. Okay, you're not, it's it's not smart to take a position way up here, but at least you still know where the draw on liquidity is, and at least you can still kind of expect to be right. Okay, right here, what do you see? We reject a higher time frame fair value gap, okay? In this situation, high, high momentum down, but we never hit sell side. Okay, and the reason is because of this fair value gap right here. So whenever we're in between two higher time frame fair value gaps, I wait for one to be broken through. Okay, if I don't see a fair value gap broken through, I just wait. So none of these are broken through, so this is 50-50. But then as soon as I see a red candle going back through this fair value gap here, which is what? A fair value gap's broken through. As soon as I see a candle cutting with displacement through an old fair value gap, I immediately know, based off this momentum, that the, the the draw on liquidity should be this next low. And then once we hit this low, I kind of reassess. I, I kind of ask myself, are we going through this with a lot of displacement or little displacement? Okay, and I'm sure in the higher, the lower time frame, you would have seen a lot of displacement through this. You would never would have been able to tell based off the one hour here. But my guess is if we went through this low with, went through this low with a lot of displacement. And then same thing when we get back down here, 
Again, your job is to go to lower time frame. See, okay, are we really rallying through this low or are we kind of getting stuck at this low? And that should be your kind of question. If you see we're getting stuck, then you should expect some sort of reversal unless we, we get, sometimes we get stuck, we consolidate, then we have another giant red candle down, uh, which shows you gotta be careful about because those could be the manipulation of the power three, but that's another video. Um, but again, once you start seeing these high momentum candles like right here, there's no high momentum candle and then just all of a sudden we get this boom, giant drop, right? This giant drop and immediately after that, where should where, do, where would your guess on the draw on liquidity be? The next low, which would be right here, okay? And then right here would be the, the other low. And once we hit this low, you kinda gotta reassess. You kinda gotta be like, okay, are we gonna get another high momentum candle through this low or are we just gonna kinda chill here? And we chilled here for a little bit, but then we get one, two, three, and then this candle would have said, okay, we're cutting through this low with a lot of displacement. Where should the draw on liquidity be? Well, it should be down here because based off this momentum and based off this higher time frame rejection block, we should target down this low. Okay, and this is not this is not easy to um, master. Okay, draw on liquidity is very, very difficult. Okay. Just reading the momentum of candles is really the thing that helped me. Okay, like right here, I would say you can see we have a high momentum candle here, right, with a with a fair value gap. So it's like kind of like you got to say, okay, if we hold this, where should the draw on liquidity be? The draw on liquidity should be up to this high as long as we hold this, right? And it's just again looking for the momentum about these candles. This is a pretty relatively strong candle in the midst of all these. So once you kind of notice the the strong relative candle. Um, that kind of tells you, okay, momentum should be leading up to this high. And we know off the hourly as well, okay, momentum is kind of leading up here as well. So I would expect these to hit. And these are relative equal highs as well. So that's kind of another reason I would expect those to hit. And I do not like this candle here, live time, by the way. Uh, but it's just kind of looking for the momentum off these fair value gaps. So whether we get a high momentum candle or a low momentum candle off these fair value gaps, I think that's just a good... Uh, indication and momentum trading is a real thing okay i guarantee you there's a lot of smart money ready to short at certain highs or lows but once they see the momentum going through the higher low or do you really expect them to short probably not okay um so it's ideally looking for the displacement through old highs and lows and kind of seeing the momentum and what the market gives us so um that's kind of what i look for okay so I'll probably make a part two of this video, uh, but again, make sure to be watching those higher time frame PD arrays. Even if you can't catch the balance or rejection in live time, look how much momentum we have off the arrays and see if it's enough momentum to keep carrying us up, you know? So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and other than that, uh, peace out.